Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this is Gothic 2 New Balance Smile. Today we're gonna start with chapter 5 where we're gonna see a bunch of undead. Now chapter 5 is also one of the shortest chapters in the game. I think there's a total of 5 total quests. But before we get started, I just wanted to thank our first Patreon supporter and member of the community we have grown over the years. If you'd like to support me too, please check out www.patreon.com slash sliversfx. That's www.patreon.com slash sliversfx. You will help me by granting me more time to make content and exclusive content and you'll be able to participate in giveaways of gothic merch and personal items i'll be making such as this drawing that i have been making for the past few days thank you so much for your support now let's get back to the video as soon as you enter the island of Corinus or the city of Corinus, there will be a couple of undead already at the gate which i have already gotten rid of so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to secops farm from here and you're gonna see, still see some orcs that I have not yet ridden of yet. And along the way, a bunch of undead and skeletons as well. The reason we're going to Secop's farm is because his wife got scared and she escaped. And we're gonna have to get rid of everything along the way before we even get to her. This is why we're gonna do this. The, uh normal way there's also a couple of seekers oh look there's a skeleton seekers everywhere because i haven't gotten rid of them in the previous chapter which i should have probably but that's okay backup's farm as we all know it's next to owner's farm he uh has all of the people that work for him all the farmers now let's see where he actually is i think he's actually inside there we go and we ask the if there's meantime, anything that happened in the meantime. My wife disappeared, at first I didn't notice at all, and suddenly, and suddenly she, she was gone. gone. So the quest updates, and uh, his wife has actually gone through the forest. We're gonna take the long way around. We're not gonna go the direct route. Look, more on that. This is also part of the main plot of this chapter. The undead invading Corinus. Okay, more seekers that we're gonna get rid of. More undead. And Rosie and the Sun Till, son of Sekop, should be on this road very soon. And then we're gonna try and get them to town to safely. To safety. There we go. There that's Everything where they are. Well. What are you? I can't, I can't. I'll get you up here. Oh Let's talk with the Till. Till doesn't have any uh, dialogue available. So they just start following you. Rosie is a slowpoke. She barely runs. She, I walk faster than she runs, basically. So this might take a while. Because you have to wait for her to catch up on every turn. It's one of those quests where NPCs follow you. These are the worst kind, honestly. Oh, Mostly shit. because... Oh, look. They're escaping because they saw a zombie. And then you have to follow them. So you know where they went. Okay. find my own way from here thank you please there we go as soon as you get into town she gives you a bit of cash and you're good to go next we're gonna go talk to lord hagen and we're gonna give him an update about the dragons and everything that's been going on in the city he will tell us that the city has been invaded by the undead and they keep coming and they cannot stop it and they don't know where they're coming from or why they're here glad you're here what happened what do you mean do you really s i have no all of corinus is simply teaming so corinus is teaming with the undead now day, day goes by we don't repel, repel its attacks 
So where should I start? I still have the orc elites are attacking the land part, which we're giving the orc warlord ring, and uh, we can give him more warlo orc warlord rings and a total of nineteen thousand of experience from all the valley of mines orcs. These are from elite orcs only. Tell him that the dragons are dead, and we can continue. So let's see what it says. We're gonna have to talk to Pyrocar now, so we're gonna go to the monastery. Yeah. Lord Hagen sent me. You don't need to. Then I need your. W to tell the truth, I don't even. All our own re. However, there. In the. Then. The what is that? Apparently, it's just an ordinary book. It seems that I have already heard of. Regardless. And how do I do that? After all. Me too. However, this art. So, if. But now we have to look for a servant of the Dark Lord. And we have to go to Creole in the Valley of Mines once again. Let's go directly to his tower and we'll have to talk to him about where these undead are coming from in the first place. Okay, remember if we'll have to do something for him to do that, to get the information, but we'll see in a second. Um Might this weapon interest you? Let me take you No, that's not it. What, what do you, do you know, know about, about the Prominence? guardians? Your quest, the word. And if they call it, it doesn't matter at all what the the main thing. Which one? Roman, not immediately. And the t when the true. Ah, uh, and everyone's Croman has their. I st By the way, why? Corinus has been fools. Ha <laughs> ha. And apparently you. Are you satisfied? Pa yes. Sure thing. Maybe. Ha 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 ha. Without. Well, listen carefully. As you probably know, the order of the. Pa at, however, they. What, they at, There's a lot of dialogue here. And what it says next is, Creole told me that the Paladins were, were so frantically loyal to the Innos that they sometimes did terrible things in his name. So that's why all the uh, people that ha the, the Paladins have killed in the past, even some that repelled against the Order, are now buried in the tombs around Corinus. We're going to go back to the monastery again. Uh, here we go. I'm going to talk to Pyrocar once more. And he's going to give us three keys to check around uh, Corinna's. There are three tombs we need to empty. But even though that won't be enough, there's also a main tomb where a lot of the undead are coming yeah. from. I've looked with you in all we go, Lord Innus, Lord Inubus Crypt, Key to Lord Mirrods, and, and Lord Ulzar's Tomb. I, we need to check. Now, if you played the original Gothic 2 Gold, you already know where these tombs are. So Except they were never locked in the first place. You could access them easily. We're gonna go to the Circle of the Sun first. And the first tomb that we're gonna look for is right here on the left. Cool. And there should be a keyhole somewhere on the left or on the right. There we go. Keyhole. You put the key in and the door opens. And now you can get rid of all the undead that are inside. I think the uh, Will of the Wisp is still on or not. Yeah, it is. But I don't think it works in here. Oh, it does. It does. It does work in here. Okay, cool. Let's pick up everything that we see in here. A couple of chalices. A couple of swords. And, of course... Everything else that's in there here. Nice. Let's go to the next one. Which is going to be near the tavern. This tomb is normally protected by a ghost if you haven't got rid of him yet. He's right here in the center of these tombs. We're gonna open the next keyhole. Let's 
go. He's gone. And I think all the undead are gone with him. A couple of sarcophaguses in here. And let's go to the last one, which is Lord Inubis' tomb. <laughs> the note that we find is the same note that we also get in Gothic 2 Gold. Let's just read it real quick what it says. There's an old letter, I am doomed. My efforts to put Inubis back in the righteous path were in vain. Inubis has risen from the dead again, banished by the old order of paladins. He seeks vengeance. And this guy's name was Evan. As you can see, I have already gotten rid of a lot of these um, undead here. I'm not even sure if I can... Ah, I can open it, okay. And all the undead spawn on top of you as soon as you open the one of the chests. You have two more to go though. And there we go. He should spawn any second now. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Lord Inubis. He may not be the strongest, but he has the biggest army now. You might think, oh, now we're done. We can get on with our lives, right? Nope. There is something else that we're missing because the undead keep gathering up. We're gonna go back to the monastery and we're gonna talk to Pyrakar again. Yeah. This doesn't work. I visited and what have as expected. Oh, Inos. I hope that I may Inos. How, 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 we'll have to go back to Lord Hagen. Lord Hagen will say that there's another tomb that we have missed. We're gonna go to the upper quarter and go directly to Lord Hagen. Uh, oh, he's already outside. He's already outside because we told him the dragons are dead. Uh, how's, how's the situation? The situation? This, I, uh, so the undead have not stopped ga uh, coming to town. They still have to yes. defend the town against them. And we'll have to get rid of another tomb full of undead because... Well, paladins are just too lazy to do that. Oh, hello. And that's what I meant when they keep attacking. The last tomb is in a location where you normally wouldn't go in a, in a normal game. Except to kill a couple of shadow beasts, there it is. That is way, way down here in this hollow. This cave. We go to the left. Oh, there's a couple of goblins here as well. Still alive. And an undead that I missed, apparently. A dead mage. And this is what I meant with the last tomb. This is a separate area that we unlock as soon as we get in. And we're gonna have a loading screen. So we're gonna save right here. This area is crawling with undead. But it's a reasonable tomb and we just have to clear it out. Also, the undead here are way stronger than the ones outside. They have almost 3000 HP, sometimes even more. And this is an easy mode. On normal mode, they have about 5k HP. Then we're gonna have to click on this switch and the first gate is gonna open. It's gonna be the one that's opposite of the switch. There we go. They do quite a bit of damage, so you have to keep out. Uh, sorry, you have to watch out. There's too many of them, they will kill you. Another switch here. 
And I believe that's when the second gate opens, so we can now go back in the center, and indeed this gate opened as well. Another knight. And I think there should be another switch here someplace. Oh yeah, it's on the right side of this wall. It's not the same type of switch that you pull, but you have to push it in. Nicely done. Now we have whew, even stronger ones. So the shield bearers have almost 4k HP. The good thing about this, you get a lot of Innos Karma. So if, if you are a Paladin, or if you are a, uh, a Mage, a Fire Mage, this will benefit you greatly, mostly because you can exchange Karma for stats. The first switch is open, we're gonna go to the right here, and we're gonna have to kill more on that, as obvious. Now if you can't see in here, let me just turn on the light. There should be a switch right in front of me. Sometimes certain areas are not lit up and you have to use your own light source. Then when you turn on that switch, this one gets open. And I'm going to use my bow from here on now because it's more fun. Another switch right here. And I think the fourth one opens. See, the fourth one is open. And when you turn the switch on this one, the second one will open, and then the third one, in that order. Cool. One more switch to go. It's like almost like a little labyrinth. More on that. Yep, more on that. <laughs> and the switch here is on the right side. And I think that's the last one to open the last gate. And let's go downstairs to meet the boss. They don't do a lot of damage though, but they just have a lot of HP. We're gonna save here and we're gonna try to kill him as fast as possible. Because if you take too long, he takes phases. And when he takes phases, that means more HP for him. I'm gonna try and use our Holy Messenger bow. Maybe that will do more damage because it's based on Holy Magic, which is great against Undead. It does do more damage. How about that? But it still goes through phases, nonetheless. Boom. Boom. Let's see if he goes... Yeah, he goes through another phase. Apparently they fixed it, because the last time I played this, uh, there weren't any. So I'm gonna just use my... Uh, my trusty... Staff. I'm gonna also have to heal because I don't have any HP left. <laughs> also, these knights are sort of dumb. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, see, so he still has full HP, which is 10,000 HP. So we're gonna get rid of it. And I think that was it. That's the end of it so he goes through three stages and the last one when you kill him you kill him permanently now you can click on this switch there's gonna be i think a treasure in here you can gather indeed let's see what's inside so we have a mad crusader sword which is a one-handed strength weapon and gets extra damage to undead and demons you get a elixir of spirit, strength, and two and a half thousand gold, which 
it's not bad, but it's nothing special at this point. And then we're gonna have to click on the switch to open the gate. But even if you don't click on it, it's fine, because you can just literally teleport out of here. We're gonna just do that. Teleport to Corinus to the upper quarter, and we're gonna tell Lord Hagen all the undead are now gone. Well, you can't say they're dead, because they're already undead. <laughs> I visited the and what did you you're better okay ex hmm are you still well did I did you not all right for I, I and that's it and now we have to find a way to get on the ship and get to the halls of Irderath now Pyrocar already has told us that the book that Zardas gave us is still being held in the uh, the vaults of the monastery which means it's downstairs we're gonna have to get a give a visit to old Talamon that's guarding the vaults. And once you get to Talamon, don't forget to grab the book that's right here. And uh, we're gonna have to go to Xardas' tower. And we're gonna have to unfortunately fight a bunch of undead to get there. Apparently, the teleport also does not work to Xardas directly, as long as this um, <clears throat> this quest is active. So we're gonna have to go there on foot, and I think Lester is gonna be waiting right outside to give us a note. Let's see. Yes, Lester is here. Hey, where he's gone? He's and dead. there's the letter. We might as well, uh, we might as well get rid of all the undead that are in inside here. All right, nice. Now we can open the letter that Zardas gave us. It should be a letter from Zardas. And then you can open the book from Halls of Erdorath, which gives you a key. Let's go back to the monastery then. And at this point, you are pirate Sully. He actually lets you through. We're gonna click on the switch, same as in the original game. And we're gonna tell him I found the secret door. And there's gonna be a bunch of undead down here as well. It's kind of the undead are the main uh, focus of this chapter. Quite a couple of them, and it's worth getting rid of all of them, so you can get as much Inos Karma as possible. I'm already at 700, which means I have already gathered almost 300 since the start of this video, but there's no harm in getting more. There is no harm in getting more whatsoever. The problem is with some people they get lost in this um, in this labyrinth that's down here. You don't have a map to guide you through. You're just gonna have to feel it out. There we go. That's the last one. And we also have a key for this door that is normally locked. And you get another two thousand extra points. Experience points. Hmm. And a lot of converted paladins to go with it. There we go. We got rid of all the undead in here. We can read now this book stand, which doesn't give us anything. We can get this 
letter here and a book and a map as well as read this which is very important nice now we can check the map and the update of the quest starts so we need a ship we need a captain and also the master of dragons updates which well if you follow this through and uh you and you make a staff that is made out of three different pieces you can later summon a dragon of course this applies to mages more because um, they will have more power but dragons the one that you spawn are very slow and if you're a demon hunt sorry if you are a demon summoner or an undead summoner those dragons tend to do less damage than the ones that the uh, undead you can summon yourself. Okay? Alright. Let's see what's next on the list. So we need a ship, a crew, and a captain. Let's go back to the monastery. We're going to go talk to Pyrocar. I've been able... What? Zard... Uh. I know where to know find the halls of Erdorath. And then we say that Jorgen is an experienced sailor. And since we already killed all the undead in Zardas' tower, this quest is done automatically. The thing was so if you now we don't have to actually take Jorgen with us. We can take anyone else if you want. Jorgen is just a... Uh, a free option. You can also take Jack or Torloff. But that's entirely up to you. Let's see what says next. Um, let's go to Owner's Farm. I believe we have to talk to Lee. Do you have a, Do you think I'd still be here if I did? There must be. Sure. But that is an effort. There's a whole... Do you know anyone who can navigate the ship? Who should I cry as a crew? Now let's start with getting people ready. Apparently we have to get the ship first though. Go to the harbor area. Once you go to the harbor area, there's gonna be a paladin here waiting for you called Girion. Hey, can you tell? I need the I ship. Need the sh the mm -hmm. well, but I can live then do. And he's gonna actually join you on the ship. Now, you don't you can't just get on the ship as a scout, I believe. I haven't tried it, but let's see what happens. Oh, you can get on the ship. Okay, never mind. I believe one of the quests that was active earlier gets you on the ship easily. So now uh, we just need to find a captain. Let's go see if there's any extra quests we can do. I'm going to go talk to Jack first. It's, he's in his tower. Hopefully he's not dead. Oh look, more on that. How about that? And we're going to see if he is the one that wants to be our captain i don't think there's any other quest that can be involved with this but let's check wouldn't you i, but for an... I need your experience I need as your a sailor me, Tim. <laughs> what if i brought you I someone brought... Not a bad idea mate i rod the blacksmith I... okay so jack wants somebody to One look out for the tower while he's away and the easiest way to do that is to talk to Brian, which is Hera's apprentice. I Wait a minute. What? Let me see if I can talk to Herod as well. What? Apparently not. I think, uh, what's his name? He just goes there automatically. I'm going to teleport away now. First owner's farm and then back to the market square to see if this updates. Hey, Brian will take. I do. So this is one thousand experience extra. 
And we can also ask Torloff. And let's see what Torloff wants. I think Torloff is already upstairs in his chair. Your You're sailor. Uh, and if I take care of it, then will you be my captain? And if I... Okay, so Torloff wants something ridiculous, and that is to open the gate in the uh, in the Valley of Mines and let all the orcs in, even though we killed all of them. But since I'm a scout, I'm not gonna able I'm not gonna be able to do that. I would be able to do that as a dark mage, as a pal uh, as a mercenary, but not as a scout. So we're gonna skip this one, and we're gonna ask Jorgen directly to be our. Uh, our sailor, our captain. Where is he anyway? He just disappeared. Hmm. I should probably wait until morning because I think he appears in here. Yep, he's right there. I took care of your bill. Be my captain. And you get 5,000 experience for it in either way. It doesn't matter who you get. And now we have to pick up the crew. Uh, first off, of course, is Milton that's right outside the monastery. Welcome aboard. Okay, nice. That's one. Then we're gonna go to Olnar's farm where there's a couple of boys waiting for us. Which is gonna be uh, Lee, obviously. Go what? Then we're gonna have ask Gorn. I don't think anybody else is in here. Maybe the oh yeah, the blacksmith. Hey, Bennett. Nice. Torloff, I don't think he's gonna come along. If we already have a captain, Wolf comes, I think. Indeed. Uh. Hey, Raul. <laughs> Would you, what? you can ask him, but what's the point? Because he's always in a bad mood. He doesn't do anything, and he's always in a bad mood. I never asked Jess. I don't think he has any updates. Okay. Maybe Jarvis? No. Tecla? No. Can, can I, I have some of your stew? Oh, she gives me some of her stew. Nice. Mm, court, perhaps? I don't think so, though. No. That's the last one. Let's go to uh, Lester, because he's still in Xardas, near Xardas' tower, just outside of it. He's still here. Okay, nice. That's one more. Uh, the harbor area has Laris. She is right at the, the gate to the tavern. That's one more. Then we have Diego. Who's in the upper quarter. This one takes the longest to get ready. Because he also needs to change. I'm ready. Okay. We can, I think, also ask Angar that is in the Brotherhood camp. Let me just find uh, the teleport. There we go. Angar. It's all ba uh, basically just extra experience. Uh, whew. Who else can I think about? Would it ever change? I think the last one on the list is the guy in the tavern itself. And his name is Mario. I heard that. I... I should... Wait a minute. Even though I wouldn't suggest him in the first place because he's already it's been nothing. possessed. He's already been possessed by the dead. Uh, sorry, the uh, the dark seekers. And I think that's about it. Oh yeah, I forgot one of the most important people, and that is Vatras. 
Vashras would gladly accompany us as long as we didn't commit any big crimes. Mm. Hey, come with me to the enemy's come island. Wait a minute. Nice, okay. That's the last one. And now we just need to get to the harbor and start our process of getting out of this place. Okay, so everybody is here. Pretty much quite a big crew, honestly. We need to be well prepared before we set sail. It is recommended to have at least 4,000 HP. We have 7,000, which is not a big deal. So as soon as you get on the ship and you get inside your quarters, chapter six will start and there's no turning back from here. So this is basically the end of chapter five. Let's see if we have any more quests. We only have the mystery of the old book, which we can finish. And I'm going to do that separately. Okay. In a separate video. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more future updates. And as always, Thanks for watching.